shoes. Alright. Trying to... Trying to get this. to the live stream again. Hope the music ain't too loud. Uh, another one of these live streams where me, Lance the Dog, just decides to sit and talk with you guys about, I guess, current events that are relevant. Keyword. Relevant. And latest things that I'm doing or into and this and that. Hope that's not too loud. Her, welcome. So, uh, today's agenda, I guess we'll talk a little bit about MFF. Hello, welcome everybody. So, we'll talk about Midwest Fur Fest. Um, and on the Gunpla news, in terms of my collection. Hey, Vince. Blunt Dragon. Welcome everybody. Uh, four people already. That's awesome. Um, I finished the latest model. So, we'll go over that too. Um... So far, that's really the only topics to really go on right now, unless anybody comes up with anything pretty decent to talk about. Um, of course, I already showed off the, the big boy kit. Um, I don't need to keep showing that off. Man, I haven't seen you in forever. How you been? Man, yeah, I know. I... I'm uh, looking a bit different. <laughs> long story, long story, Mr. Blood Dragon. <laughs> okay. Hello, everybody. Oh, crap, six people. What the freak? Oh, what do you mean I don't remember you? I remember you. What the hell? I just don't drop names, you know? Because, you know reasons, but of course I remember you, you've been MIA forever, heck, you're one of the last few people who've seen me in full working condition before my accident, so, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, hit me, yeah, hit me up, yeah, hit me up when I'm not being the dog, I guess. Oh, oh, Vince, I guess we're doing this now? All right, we're doing it now. Screw it. I don't care. Okay, hold on. I heard something in my, in my ear. Alright, Vince, I thought I accepted it. If not, I sent one. So I don't know. Oh my god, commercial. No, I don't want to hear about your, your beer commercial. Dang, music. Okay. You have the strangest luck, I swear to God. <laughs> um, I should have, I, sh I, I should have a list of the panels and everything for Midwest Fur Fest. I wanted to talk about them. And, well, I did. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Oops, I built. We're trying to, I guess this is a, a test of the 
uh, co-host kind of not guest host. I don't know what I'm calling it. This is like my own, like like my second and a half live stream. The other one right before this was just kind of some short shit, and then the other big one that everybody seemed to like. Uh, I'm kind of I'm kind of doing this on a whim because. Uh, no, no organization. Well, uh, oh, there we go. Hi. Hey, it is just. Uh, like, oh, you're you're suiting up. There you go. Sup, Vince? Okay, everybody Hi. can see. So, so there we go. We got me, Lance the Dog. We got Vince the Wolf here. Oh, God, your human is showing. <laughs> I don't have my paws yet. I know, I know. <laughs> okay, hello, everybody joining in. Oh, God. So, first topic, of course, Midwest Fur Fest. Um, I was going through, through some of the panels. It's, it seems like some really interesting panels and events are going to happen this year. Okay, Perp. Well, enjoy while you can, Perp. Yeah, I'm going to hope this saves and we'll get this on um, YouTube. So, um, uh, what was, well, of course, they're having another YouTubers panel, of course. I heard about that. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, what was so stuff? There was one panel I actually was really interested in, but I can't go to it. It's too early on a Saturday. I'll be at work. Uh, 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 um, I'm trying to think, what was some of the other stuff? Um, mm. the, uh, the, that escape room thing that was there last year, that's going to be there again, uh, this year. Um, mm. man, I wish I had the list in front of me, but if I, if I pull it up, I'm going to lose the music. So it's like crap. You know, this is where it comes in. I wish my third tablet was powered up, because then I have one for music, one for broadcasting, one for broadcasting, other tablet for whatever crap. <laughs> uh, this is what happens when you do stuff fly, uh, on a fly. No organization. <laughs> um, yeah, it, sadly, I'm only probably going to be able to go to MFF half a Saturday and all a Sunday. Uh, maybe next year I can do all four days. I don't know, man. Depending on how that Friday goes, huh? Yeah, that's what I'm shooting for this year, all four days. Yeah, I mean, last year was great. Last year was an amazing experience. Oh, oh God, I'm going in there with a, with a, with a, with a decent credit card. That's not good. <laughs> Oh, the deal is then will be my undoing. Yes. I I will admit, if I see a golden retriever head, I don't know, I may jump because technically I still have another Sona, which is a golden retriever. Uh, that's Jock. Uh, I have, I actually have Jock's badge. He only has one badge. Um... So yeah, uh, your bad collection. Hold on. Where is it? There's my bad collection up there. Oh my my room, my junky room. I'm in the middle of remodeling my room. Start pulling stuff out. Never put it back. It's like, oh, oops. Oh well, junky room until I can finish remodeling. Cause I got an entertainment center coming in. Well, it's here. It's just not in the room. Uh, I got some, some lamps coming in that got shelving on it, which is going to be cool because there's going to be gunpla on the shelving. There's going to be gunpla on the entertainment center. Gunpla everywhere. Oh, speaking, the latest model, which was Gundam Kairos from, and I'm dropping shit. 
Uh, yeah, um, I'm not about to attempt to pick that up. Um, Gundam Tyro from Gundam Double O. This was the, I'm dropping everything. This is the one that we talked about that I was going to build, and I have built it. And I'm kind of not happy with this model. Um, uh-oh. Must grab carefully with Paul. Paul. Okay. I am not really happy with uh, this model because one, leg articulation kind of sucks. Most, most of the models, the feet kind of swivel. Uh, it's like a hip swivel ball, a ball joint. There's no ball joint in this. So posing this thing is a pain in the ass. Two, I have not tried transformation mode. According to the instructions, I got to take them apart, put an adapter in there, and I'm like, really? I got to go through all that? All these other kits you don't have to, but whatever. I did some advanced panel lining. If you can see the dark, all the dark lines, it's an ink dye that fills in all the lines. I sat there and just inked it the best I could. The face. I know, it's so hard to make sure I'm showing this off right. The lighting is not doing it justice. So, but yeah. I eh, I am I'm I'm not really too happy with this build. It was like, wow, it's kind of sucked. So this is one of few builds that I just wasn't happy with, and I'm the only thing I'm happy about is it's over <laughs> and this build is done. Uh, if you all want to see. The transformation during the stream, let me know. I will literally sit here and transform it in stream. Hello, Eclipse. How you doing? Hello to everybody who came in. Got me and Vince here. We're testing out the uh, guest furry thing. I, I don't know. I, I really need to sit down and title all this crap. I don't know. I'm showing off the latest gunfly. We're talking about uh, Midwest Fur Fest, which Eclipse Arc here will be actually, um, what how would you say, hosting? Not hosting, but, um, um, not hosting panels, but you'll be, ha you have your own panels. Uh, Eclipse Arc has their own panels. Eclipse, if you want to, you can type out what panels are going to be yours at MFF. So that way you guys can check out Eclipse's ARC's panels. Let me put this down before I break it. This is a lot of hard work for something I'm not satisfied with. Freaking sucks. Like my life. <laughs> Oh God, I can't see the dead. You know, it's just gonna lay there. It's gonna lay there. So, yeah. So everybody pay attention to the chat. Um, Eclipse is going to advertise what panels they're gonna do. So, in the meantime. Hi, my lad. Uh, hey, lad. Son. Welcome. Holy shit, it's like seven people. Must be doing something right. Oh god damn it. Oh. oh because I still need to practice my howl. Yeah, yeah you do that. You do that. <laughs> I'll let you do the howler. Uh oh. by, by howl I probably need a goddamn inhaler. So <laughs> Hey So Look crap, it's like almost ten people in here. What the heck am I doing? I must be doing something, right? <laughs> I know, start a motherfucking oh god damn it. Oh. Oh. See now I need an <coughs> uh. 
Yeah, I don't, uh, yeah. Oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> oh, so, and back on to the gun punch tip. Now, to decide what model should I do next, because Lord knows, I don't know, but I need to start knocking down this uh, backlog. Oh, okay, cool. I plan to make sure. Uh, I, I, I still should be going to uh, Downers Grove this weekend yeah. to the Fur Bowl. Yes, you got to show off the head. Yes, I can't wait to properly debut it. Yeah. You know, if we, get, if we get a decent internet connection, I might go live, so we can always try again. Uh, like what we always been trying to do. Yeah. No, not a Fortnite dance contest. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, the, um, I gotta figure out within this step. What the hell are you doing? I was trying to chase the oh, so I could do the, the Fortnite dance. Oh, God. Uh, can I borrow your air pressure? Wait, what? <laughs> I just have this propped in, inside of a, inside of like a hey, I cabinet drawer thing. My God, go on eBay and buy a phone stand. A camera stand with a phone adapter. It's like only $12. Oh, shoot, the music died. I thought that was an hour's worth. Oh, wait, no. Apparently, my tablet decided to listen to three words I said and research paper airplanes. Why? Okay, good. Why did paper you do airplane. this, tablet? It, it just, I just look down and see all these paper airplanes made throughout the world. Man, those are some crazy paper airplanes, for one. But I'm like, why did you do this? <laughs> Google. Ice Wolf, I am dying to see your suit. Uh, is it left this probably? Uh, unfortunately, I, w I still won't be able to go. I'm still be working overtime all this week. I'm, I'm definitely doing this broadcast today because I did uh, overtime, but I didn't do the messy stuff. So I'm not soaked in transmission fluid. So I can actually wear lands because I refuse to be in lands um, soaked in transmission fluid. But that'd be last you see of him. Actually, I was going to buy some wool light. And do a nice hand washing of the boy. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I need help selecting what model to build next. Um, at least these high grades. I'm not, uh, the, the master grades I have plans for that I have here. This Reborn 100 of the Nightingale. This big thing, um, I'm going to be in the right mood for this one. And, and the big boy is going to be during winter. For those of you have, who have not seen it, since we actually got a bunch of people here, I went out and bought one of the biggest Gundam gun flaws out there. Built the gas one pump, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> the hell hurt. Oh, this is going to be during the winter because unfortunately if the weather gets bad enough I won't be coming out so for those of you who haven't seen it this is the Genobium and all of its humongous ass glory this thing is awesome oh, this box is heavy <laughs> This box is, it, it is freaking heavy. Don't hurt yourself. Don't get, it, I already hit the phone stand already. I mean, where's the, I'm trying to show the side that shows everything. That, that's not it. I am a nerd. I am nerd forever. <laughs> nerd forever, geek never. Wait, no, it was the other way around. I don't remember which other was the good one. Hello, Frosty. Hello, everyone who is coming in. See, this is everything that's inside. And it's only a high grade. But it's 144 scale like the rest of them. So that's why this thing is huge. Because oh. this thing is a big 
basically it's a mobile armor. It's a big spaceship that the Gundams ride in. Well, one Gundam rides in. It even comes with the Gundam that's supposed to ride in it. So, yeah, this is everything that comes in this thing that has to be built. This thing is huge. Uh, look, you keep changing your name. I could have sworn it was something else before. Oh, it's always good to have you, Lux. Oh, man, I'll put this thing back. I hurt myself. I'm saving the boxes because I'm redoing the basement and I'm going to set up an actual build area. Uh, no, I'm not going to paint it in suit. <laughs> what do you want me to wreck, Lance? What are all you? <laughs> that son of mine, I swear. So, I need to fix my perfect grade wing, uh, wing Gundam Zero from Endless Walls. Um, I built him many years ago. Perfect grades are pretty big. Uh, the scaling is like 163, one. It's it's way more detailed, something like that, than um, the rest of them. It's pretty huge. Uh, he's in the box. I could get him out, but then again, he's kind of he's under a lot of boxes. That's him in this big old gray box. So yeah, that's a lot of boxes to move to get him out. So yeah, that's not happening right now. Oh no, the power cord came out the phone. Uh uh. -uh. And my my digits are too big to operate that. I'm at I'm at um eighty percent, so it's fine. Ah yeah, human hands, get those filthy things away from me. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, you signed up for the dance count? Oh, wow. I wish you luck because uh, don't you got to go through floor wars and, yeah, and all that stuff yeah, before you... Yeah, stuff. Yeah. So, hey, if you don't make it to the main thing, hey, be proud that you got up there and did your thing, you know. So, I wish you luck. Yeah, best of luck. The best of luck. Yes. Yes. We wish you the best of luck. Did it cost anything to sign up for that? I don't, I don't know. So, uh, uh, what else is going on? Um, yeah, well, that's pretty much it. Trying to, um, trying to figure what is the next model to build. Um, uh, probably after, um, after the, uh, broadcast, I'll have pictures up of the, the recent model just built. Ah, my hair keeps, like, acting stupid. Ah. <laughs> I swear. Not too many people can do this, but... Ah. And especially while in suit. Ah. It's hard to do it while it's on my head, so... No! No, vaping. Vape is gay. <laughs> I think. I think it's. Bye, Perp. Hi, Perp. We'll see you when you get back. Uh, if, if we're still here. Because I, I just go as long until Instagram kicks me. Uh, which pretty much is an hour, I think. Hour, hour and 20 minutes, something like that. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah. I think well, you can vape in your own suit. I can't tell you what to do with your own suit. cool and perfect, honestly. <laughs> I think it looks kind of cool. Especially when dragons do it, I will admit. It is kind of cool to see somebody vape in a dragon suit. That, that's, that, that, it's just... It all flows. It all goes great. Um, Eclipse, are you still in the chat? I thought you was going to post up your info. Get people to come out. Uh, anyway. Oh, God. 
I heard it's supposed to snow Thursday. Uh, I'm not looking forward to that at all. Still needs new tires. You, oh my god, I gotta get new tires on the, uh, new, new front tires on the truck. It's like, uh Like, the front tires are almost smooth. It's so bad. It's God, that, well, that's bad. Just don't let your rear ones get that bad. Yeah, my rear ones are hey, John. okay. No, oh, God. You know, part of me wants snow for MFF, and part of me does not. I'm gonna stay right in the in the middle of yes and no for MFL. So I'm scared. It's like I'm scared to walk through the uh, tunnel between the hotel and the and the dealer's den. I'm scared to do that in my head. Okay. Yeah, Eclipse, go ahead and post it again. Somehow I must not have missed it. I mean, I can only see two message, two lines of messages at a time. So if you posted it and then a couple people talked, and it was gone for me. Oh god. I mean the weather, yeah, cool weather, yes. But the snow, oh no. Even though Lance here was pretty good in the snow. Um shoot. When it was snowing last year, I didn't put on my coat. I just went out as Lance and shoveled snow. <laughs> I was perfectly I was perfectly warm. That's awesome. So, uh, yeah, that, that's the thing. You gotta see. You gotta make sure. You gotta be careful what your suit is made out of when you interact with different weather and stuff. Um, uh, Lance got caught in the rain during a Chicago downtown fur walk. Advertisement plug. Uh, <laughs> and it started raining, so we tried to head back, and it was like. I, I was one of few who didn't get an umbrella, but I'm like, uh, I'm a tough dog. I'm a weather it out. I'm fine inside, perfectly good. And by the time I got to the parking garage, my eyes looked a little weird. I'm like, hey. I get home, my eyes are water damaged. Uh-oh. Oh, they were starting to peel. So technically, because most of y'all don't realize... You know, these are not my original eyes. This is not even my original eye color. My original eye color was purple and, and bluish lavender. Now I'm more bluish and dark brown. And these are printed, I think, on on the on that backer plastic backer or whatever. And now, now they're covered in E3000. So these eyes are uh, they're pretty damn. Yeah, acrylic paint it should be good with water, yeah. Uh, at the job, we use acrylic paint to mark um, stock numbers on parts. That stuff lasts pretty... It, it holds up pretty well. It holds up to a power washer, so... Yeah, acrylic paint is pretty good. Uh, with my models, I prefer... Yep, not in those eyes, yeah. Um, I prefer acrylic paint when I um, paint my models. It dries nice. Oh god, the the black black and red model I did with the sniper, I accidentally used an enamel paint. I'm like crap. Enamels, dude. It's like they take a while. To, yeah, enamel can like ruin paint brushes. Oh, well, I spray from an aerosol can. It was spray can. Yeah, but yeah. It, it took forever to dry, and I was like, why are my finger fronts? Showing dude on the model paint, what the heck? It's not dry. So I had to sit in front of a heat vent for a while. Oh, cool looks that you get the honor roll. I remember when I used to get the honor roll. Used to. Keyword. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, my life. So. Oh, God. Well. Also, uh, well, pretty much everybody here follows the YouTube. I doubt I need to do that plug. And I sort of got, I'm going to just have a sign that I'm going to just raise up that shows all the, um, um, <laughs> all the, uh, social media and then slowly lower it. And that, um, that, uh, low budget promoting. <laughs> For a reason, there needs to be a because 
Yes. I mean, we talked about this ages ago of doing a furry car calendar. And I'm still willing to do that. You know, um, um, man, that's something I definitely want to do this, well, whenever I can, is, um, pictures with lands with the sky, and then hopefully down the line, I want to do, um, Keisha Wolf, uh, with the, with the Datsun. And heck, I'll even do Lisa with the um, with the Dakota, you know. Depending on whoever, whichever suit I get made next, I don't know. I mean, I've been teeter tottering like crazy. I I need I need T or need a Lance 2.0 because the boy here he's he's um he's he's getting old. He's um he's kind of wearing. Um, I'm not going to show off the wear and tear because it's kind of, it's sad to know that he's wearing out. I mean, I've done so many repairs. I've sewed up so many spots. The eyes are completely re, um, dead. And, um, this week I'm actually doing touch-ups to the back of the head to kind of get rid of that, that bucket effect look to kind of, kind of carve out some of the foam to kind of make it rounder. Cause I see pictures of me on the side and I'm like, my head looks like a fucking bucket. <laughs> I don't like that shit. So I've been kind of carving at it to kind of give it like a, a shrouded shape uh, while still giving me padding back there. Uh, does your head have padding in the back? Uh, yeah, it does. Okay. You know, I've learned most heads don't have padding in the back. Yeah, I, I heard that. I heard that. Like, I, I was watching a video today that said that a lot of, like, more recent fursuits actually don't have padding in the back. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, Pagan Wolf, his head has no padding in the back. I heard, uh... It's all, everything in the front, huh? Yeah, I heard Majira's uh, new head also doesn't have any padding in the back. Yeah, I heard that too, actually. Also, his, his tongue can do this, too. You can just be detachable. Nice. Your tongue detached, my hair detached. <laughs> How's yours uh, on? Velcro? Magnets? Magnets. You know what, John? That is actually a good idea. Make a shirt with all my social media on it. I need to do that. We need a gun to blast. I'm actually working on, um, I want to get one of the bear guys, and I wanted to do them in Lance colors. Because I'm trying to get a little better with my paint schemes. Uh, I was showing off the recent model. The recent model that I built for everybody who's just coming in and have no idea what the hell's been going on. Uh, I just built Gundam Kairos from Gundam Double O. Um, I built this. And I was saying, I am not satisfied. It is... It has sucky articulation. The, the, the feet are not on a swivel, not on a swivel joint. They just a straight peg. So you can't really flex the, you can't really pulse the legs too well. Um, the wings as kneecaps I didn't really realize. I mean, in the anime, it looked fine. But in the model, I'm like, holy shit, they got to, like, get in the way, you know? <laughs> so, for everybody to see, I did a lot of panel lining. Uh, all the, the, the black lining and stuff. Well, Lux, it takes time. Uh, it takes time, it takes money, lots of money to get your fursuit looking better and better. But it also takes imagination and willpower to be determined to make your suit reflect who you are. You can have all the money in the world and no imagination and yeah, your suit will look nice, but 
it won't pop, you know, it won't stand out. So, hey, that's just how I feel, you know. It's, I mean, Lance is a super fancy, but Lance has held up, though. I will admit, he's pretty durable. This is a pretty durable suit. I've done so much with him. And, you know, I am... I am still to this day happy to Lance's maker, Fritz the Goat, for giving me a chance to adopt the suit. Lance is my OC, but Lance's looks was based off of the suit that I had adopted. That was already, it was a pre-made. It was a simple pre-made that just got expanded on. Oh, for a cross go. Oh, that's cool. <sighs> um, oh, you know, I should, um, I don't know if anybody really know, well, some of you all know, that I usually take most of my art that I commission, and I print them on high-gloss paper. So not only do I, because uh, I want a physical copy, and I can actually show that off, hold on, let me, we'll get this on it, bro. Sorry, I don't have a tail on because I didn't think it was... I didn't think it had a point. Oh, God, I can't see. Depth perception is not my friend. Fuck. The camera falls over. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Oh. I made some more fursuit sprays. And, uh oh, I gotta sneeze. This is gonna be dramatic. Oh, definitely gonna be spraying the suit after this. Okay, okay, I didn't sneeze. Alright. So, and, look, Lux, look what's in the front of the book. What the, I'm not gonna, oh no, stuff's falling out. Oh god, I didn't finish. Okay. Remember this, Lux? I told you I was gonna keep it uh, in a very nice place with the rest of my art collection. Lux drew this for me. Thank you, Lux. It's like, it was like, it was like fan art. My first like fan fan art. I'm actually really was excited over it. Uh, Lux does take uh, commission art. So, if anybody likes this cute style of art, just uh, hit up uh, Frosty Lux. And uh, Frosty Lux charges very well. I mean, the pricing is amazing. So, yeah. yes, son. What is it, son? Let's see. Also, the original Lance reference sheet, which technically needs to be updated, because this is kind of like baby Lance. This is, this is puppy Lance. Lance has grown up a little bit. So, well, I actually have the... Okay, there is a, technically a Lance 2.0. Um, he he kind of looks a little older than I wanted him to look. So, yeah... I might have to... This is hard to do with Paul. Here... Here's Lance 2.0, but in the art, he kind of looks like my real age. And I'm like, oh! Uh... Um... I didn't want him to be that old. <laughs> so... That's him 2.0. The art is good. The art is good. Uh, if you like, I can always send out the artist's info. This was done by Creatures and Creations. They're their little art department. They they take commissions. Uh, so yeah, they they did a good job and they did capture his essence. It's just it's a little too old. They want him to be that old. I think that when they did the art, they more followed my suit and I guess that's kind of how I look in suit <laughs> but I do like it 
I got printed it on high gloss paper. But yeah, there's more art that needs to be printed up. But here is the Lancy boy, a little more grown up. Technically, Lance has gone from puppy to more um, like like 21, 22 ish. It's a me, Amari. I mean, Lance, you. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Next one. And that's when, oh, but, and that art, the, the ref sheet art, all is by Fritz the Goat. Fritz the Goat takes commissions as well. Fritz the Goat is very affordable. Wait, that was all the, that was all the, oh, you missed one? Oh, right. The one that fell out, I didn't get a chance to, um, to add it. Uh, into the binder yet. This is for uh, Yuki the Owl. Yuki the Owl did this one. Lance is on the long road, staring off, waiting for his next adventure. Yeah. So this is by Yuki Owl. Where the heck is Yuki? Tells Yuki to get into the live stream. Where's the owl? Okay. Somebody needs to message Yuki. Sure. Sure, Lux. And then, um, moving on to the uh, my other Sona, Keisha Wolf, which I know not too many people really get to see Keisha Wolf because, uh... Keisha was really Keisha was going to be expensive to build I mean I kind of have a proto form which is just paws a tail we will not speak about the ears ever again but this is Keisha Wolf Keisha Wolf art was a uh, reference sheet was done by, by Snow Snow is an amazing talented artist so that is Keisha Wolf and all of his Samurai Bushido Glory, a weapons master, uh, the finest, a dire wolf. Uh, oh, Yuki Sleep. Oh, Lux, I didn't know you knew Yuki. I didn't know that. That burns on new video. Um. Let's see. I need to get more of Keisha Wolf done. I've been working on Lisa lately. Oh, I didn't print. Oh, crap. Okay, I did not print the art for Keisha Wolf by Yuki. Sorry, Yuki. Uh, that needs to be added to the list of stuff to print up. Uh... And um, now we're on to Lisa. Lisa the Kali. Uh, yep, Lisa looks like Lilac's mom. I know. And here we go of all her sexiness glory. This is Lisa the Kali. Lisa is a mother. Lisa is also a retired assassin by trade. So, yeah. Kind of took a break from the from the rough life to kind of just chill, raise kids and all that good stuff. Meals. Thanks, son. Good job. <laughs> uh, there, this is done by Java, a.k.a. Wheezy. Sure, you can order another shirt. You can order as many shirts as you want, or I can, I can build within my, my, my energy. But sure, yes, you can. Oh, right. I technically made this shirt. The art is by Fritz the Goat, but I took the art and I put it on a shirt. 
this it, the shirt's kind of old, so that's why it's like really wrinkled and everything else. So I made the shirt. I make shirts. Um, basically, you send me a picture of your sona. Uh, I let you know how much, and I put it on a shirt. So, yep, I am creative. I like to do things. <laughs> I did one for Lilac. I did one for Eclipse. Kiwi. Um, uh, Friend Fox. Um, uh, oh yeah, that, that's about it. Uh, you see, see all those badges. Oh, I couldn't wear all those badges. I'd be so scared to lose uh lose one by accident. Yeah, I I wear two two. And I can keep up with two badges. Is that all my art that I have so far? Oh, and then of course I have a little sketch up of a proto Lisa. It wasn't the official Lisa, it was a proto Lisa. It was a quick sketch up by Kira Bunny. And it, it, I can't see it if it's showing right okay. Yeah, that's by Kira Bunny. That's the proto Lisa. That was before Lisa even had a shape or form yet. PSA, uh, Kira Bunny made made the base for this, and she made the ears hella floppy. Oh, I didn't know Kira uh, Bunny made the base. Yeah, she made the base, and then Sage did the rest. Wow. I didn't know Kira um, did things other than art. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, um, I do want to get some more art from Kira. Uh, this time I'll probably do lambs. So, uh, but yeah, that's all my art. Um, I have more, but I haven't printed them up. So I need to print them up. Uh, come here, Sue. Jump, jump. What? No, jump. Okay, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Oh my god, so, I ordered, uh, I ordered, um, uh, lavender to restock, because if y'all don't know, I make fursuit sprays, um, where's my crap, hold on, I make fursuit sprays, I can open this. Let's see. Okay. Open. Ah! Sorry. Oh. Oh. Uh, gotta cheat because we'll be here all night. Okay. I make fursuit sprays, and um, uh, I make a bunch of different scents. So anyway, I tried to make lavender. I ordered, I think I got this off Wish, actually, with the Wish app. And they've been pretty good so far. But they sent me this lavender. And, yeah, and I'm like, oh, cool, it came. Oh, this is a decent bottle stuff. And I go to smell it, and I'm like, what is this scent? It's kind of lavender, kind of not. So, uh, I'll let you guys know when I get lavender back in. But right now, the cinnamon? Yeah, the wish app. Um, oh my god, the cinnamon spray is hot. That's what's in right now. It is strong. <laughs> I thought the peppermint spray was strong. Oh my god, the cinnamon. The cinnamon. Oh shit! I gotta be careful how much I add. <laughs> Ooh, I made a proto spray. Let's just say every time I put Lance's head on, cause I sprayed it down with cinnamon, I smell like cinnamon all day. <laughs> so I'm like, girl, all I can smell is cinnamon all day. Like what the freak? Oh my god. Oh okay, look. I I will appreciate it. 
Oh, man. Yeah, I'm just... Uh, I'm t- what I'm going to do right now is because my inventory is limited and, well, business has not been too profitable. I'll take custom orders. Uh, yes, my first use sprays make good car air fresheners. Yes, they do. They also help with spraying down your stinky shoes. Takes care of your stinky shoes. Takes care of stinky laundry. <laughs> it takes care of a lot of things. It's also used good for um, as a uh, first aid spray because of all the uh, isotopic alcohol in it. So, yeah. <laughs> Multiple uses. Ah, oh, shameless promotion. So many shameless promotions. <laughs> so how does it feel to uh, Vince to be in uh, head for so long? Uh, yeah, this is like, I think this is like the longest I've ever been in my head for so far, actually. Oh, that's cool. I mean, it's, um, the heat, it's not too bad, actually. Uh, it's, yeah, wait till you start moving around. Yeah, oh, boy. Yeah, my head. Um, what about uh, about flavor? Uh, do you have one yet? I do, but I do not know where I put it. You kind of need it. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna need it. Trust me, it's gonna happen. You're gonna need it. Uh, also, it's easy uh, to keep the soup clean too, like the oils in your hair and all that stuff too. So yeah, you're definitely gonna need that about flavor. Because that, uh, that, uh, yeah, it, it'll help, help keep the head clean, this and that. So. Oh, yeah. Like, like when you went to Anthrocon, man, that had to be an experience of a lifetime. But, yeah, the longest I've been in suit, I mean, I could do the Chicago downtown four walks. I think I, the, the least I de-headed was like twice. I technically only de-head for two reasons. One, if I don't have a long enough straw, then I have to hydrate, then I got to take the head off. Two, I can sweat, I can be hot, and I can endure. But the moment the sweat gets into my eyes, uh, it's a wrap. So, yeah. Also, the placement of your bowel flavor is very important. If you place it right, it will capture the sweat so it really don't hit your eyes too soon. You don't do it right, then, yeah. See, you all got to explore the town and stuff with Anthrocon. That's awesome. Chicago with Midwest Fur Fest, it's like... The room's like less than an hour when they opened up. Man, but but I mean, at least with Anthrocon, they can explore the city. It's not too much, really, anywhere to walk around and suit it, really, in... Around the Hyatt, really. Yeah, it's not downtown Chicago. It's it's more like just a bunch of buildings. It's not it's not like downtown Chicago, really. It's just, yeah, it's near Chicago, but it, it's not actually Chicago. Yeah. So it's it's like they they confine you pretty not like really confined, but it ain't just nowhere. It's just nowhere to go for um you know outside of Midwest Furfman. Oh, come on, phone charger, plug it in. I don't want the broadcast to end sooner than it should. Uh, my charger port's all goofed up. Phone works fine, just the charger port's freaked up. Ah, right, there we are. We're getting close to that hour, because this song, this song... This song is literally an hour long. So when the song is about close to wrapping up, I'm going to have to wrap up because then I'm going to start getting the warning. So we got a couple minutes, I think. Let me double check. It's like my like my bootleg timer. <clears throat> oh, shoot. We are at 52 out of an uh, hour. So we only really got a couple minutes. Yeah, Ex- Lilac, explore the town. Be a furry on the town. Sure, let the world see the Lilac. I might go so. see 
the around my de- uh, downtown Naperville where I live. I might do that eventually. I don't know for sure yet, though. It'll have to be like the yeah. appropriate day, you know. I guess. Yeah, and make sure you got somebody with you just in case. Yeah. Well, I mean, but lucky thing is, you're just ahead. So if anything happens, you can just pop off and run, you know, or whatever, or this and that. It's not like you're full suit. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I'll ever get a full suit. Yeah, I, I do. Lisa will be a full suit, full digi grade, uh, padding and everything. So yeah, that that's gonna that's gonna be an experience. I think I will not talk in Lisa. I think Lisa will be me, my first and probably a uh, first and only silent suiting. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to learn like hand gestures and, and all type of, you know, I got to, uh, that, that's going to be an experience. You know, technically, furries, especially, especially more the suitors, um, yeah, yeah, half suit's hard too. Half suit is half suit is damn near almost like full suit, especially half suit with dingy legs. Um, yeah, because we furries technically, we're we're technically good actors if you think about it, especially ones who can really get into their character and really this and that. I mean, we kind of got some untapped skills here, you know. Well, people are talking crap about furries. Furries can do a lot of stuff, you know. We're we're talented. Most of us, anyway. <laughs> you kind of got those couple of furries that's like that, that burnt part of the cigarette that just kind of ashes off. It's like, yeah, we're, yeah. Welcome to the community. We know you're not talented. We know you can't do shit, but we're still cool, right? Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm horrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> I do that. Oh, God. Oh, the community. For for the non furries in the in the chat, yeah, the community. That's a that's a God. That's a subject all by itself. One day we'll cover that. But yeah, but the furry fandom is a very welcoming community. They accept everybody. Um, you know, you know, you you don't have to have a suit to be a furry. That's a exception, actually. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, it is the biggest misconception. You don't have to have a suit to be a first. Now, if you want to be noticed in the community, either A, you got to have a hell of a personality that goes along with your sauna, or you need a first suit. Let's be real. <laughs> you know? You know what? Yeah, when we do, when we talk about well, you know what, that is going to have to be a topic for definitely another day, but that's going to have to be a topic to be planned out. And that might be an entire um, live stream by itself. Do you or do you not need a fursuit in the community? Because that, that's a lot. I mean, there are some things you need a suit for just for, and there's some things you don't. And then there's the public reasons for if you need a suit or not. And then there's personal reasons if uh, if you need a suit or not, so yeah, that's gonna be a ooh, that's gonna that's gonna be a trip of a topic. Uh, we're gonna have, to have some moderators in the chat for that one because I can kind of see that getting a little little uh, really real little Rudy. You know, some people might not be able to peacefully talk about that subject. Uh, we must be ready to defend the chat and the stream with our lives. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me check the timer again. I'm getting hungry again. I, I ate before I suited and I'm, I'm freaking hungry again. Oh, shoot. That's, that's technically... Uh, wait. Wait, it's restart. It's probably the last time the song will restart. We're at 57 out of of the hour so i guess um i guess we'll bring this oh shit no the timer it's 11 seconds left what the freak stupid instagram okay we're gonna go ahead and end this